You, you do not upset me, son. You belong to my family. I am your, your uncle. Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with a new and possibly a very exciting episode. Guys, guys, part two of Pat McGrath Labs Cosmetics and Products. The part one just has been done. You can actually watch it for your own pleasure and entertainment in which I dive in into the product for your face. Foundation, concealer, powders, blushes, you name it, it's there. Obviously, if I would combine all together, the episode would be too long, so it has been split into two parts, and now we are diving into the second part, very exciting part, which is eyeshadows from Pat McGrath Labs. We're going to test it, we're going to have some fun and play with it, a little palette, from Pat McGrath and a big mothership palette. We're going to put it on our eyes, see the formulas and see the colors and everything and just have some fun with makeup. So yes, guys, if this is something that interests you, please tune in to the party, to my channel where we celebrate diversity. Diversity makes us all different, gorgeous, unique, and beautiful. So yes, guys, let's start today's episode. Today's episode is all about Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadows. <laughs> All right, guys, and so here we are back, ready to have some fun with makeup, ready to have some fun with the eyeshadows and just, you know, have a little bit of a review. Before I'm going to jump in, this is, as you can see, I am going to feature in today's episodes lots of eyeshadows. I mean, the Star Wars collection that I have since a little bit while <laughs> and this is what are we going to play with pat mcgrath from time to time she launches a small palette um and i think it's a great opportunity to dive in and to test the the uh, the quality of the eyeshadows and of course from uh, she has her own very famous eyeshadow palette in the form of the mothership before we're going to dive in into the uh, the makeup fun, I definitely would like to tell you my own experience with Pat McGrath shop. Well, that is uh, <laughs> that is very unique because you might probably be wondering why am I featuring the eyeshadows months <laughs> after uh, after the launch? Well, there is a reason. There is a reason, and let's just start that. The first reason is that. My palette has arrived to me. <laughs> Not funny, actually, but they arrived around one and a half month after the original launch, when everyone just lost an interest. <laughs> and um, and the basic, basically, what has happened? It was a launch, okay? There was a launch of the product. The congestion of the website was just so intense, I could not get anything to work. It was so slow. People just jumped in, were buying, 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 buying. I could not make the website to work for me. And eventually, when I managed to make it work, the palette that I was most interested in, this is the palette that I wanted to have because it's having a very unique um, colors, very unseen uh, in, Pat My, uh, in Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow range. So definitely I wanted to snatch it. And this one, 
was not available. <laughs> it was not available. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the, the only one palette that I truly wanted to have. And such a bad luck. What I am going to do now if I can't have it? But then when I looked at that website, um, it was available only in the form of the set, a whole set. So what I'm trying to say, my palette that I wanted to buy as a single was was gone, but then only it was available a whole set, a whole collection. So I was thinking, okay, I suppose for my channel purposes, I might go with a whole set. It was like almost 200 euros, the whole set. I am not even kidding, guys. <laughs> but okay, I decided if I can't get, get the palette that I want to, I'm going to have a whole set. I'm going to buy a whole collection. I think this is really very interesting. And this is what happened. I ordered a whole set. And then I was waiting. I was waiting days. Nothing was happening. <laughs> like, uh, silence. And nothing was happening. And then I was waiting again. And then weeks were passing. And I was just like, after four weeks of waiting, uh, something is weird. No one is informing me about anything. I'm not getting anything from the shop. And I spend almost 200 euros. What is going on? Pat McGrath, what is going on? This is the weird... I mean, my personal experience as a buyer from shop of Pat McGrath is it's definitely special, but not necessarily in a good way, you know? And then I wrote to them and I wrote them a message and uh, I asked them, where is... Where are my palettes? Where, where is my set? Where is my collection that has been sold to me on the day of the premiere when it was available? And then they wrote me back and then they said, please do not worry. Uh, we are actually processing one of the palettes is actually we don't have it anymore. But as soon as we are going to restock, you're, you're going to get everything, a whole set. I was like, restock? <laughs> Do they even know what they're talking about? That was a limited edition. I suppose when it's sold out, it's not come out. It's not gonna come back. What are they promising me? That the comeback of the limited edition that is sold out? I, I was so confused. And a few days after, they sent me another message. And then they sent me they sent me a message that they're going to give me back money uh, because um, they cannot deliver the promise, the process. They cannot deliver, um, they cannot fulfill uh, my demand for the whole purchase. So I was like, oh my gosh, that means if I'm gonna get the whole 200 euros from an unfinished set. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pat McGrath, uh, quality service has definitely a very sophisticated sense of humor, I must say. So basically, guys, what has happened was that um, in the set, the whole collection set that has arrived eventually, one of the palettes was missing and it was this one, the gold one, I think it's called. It's called the golden one. There you go. And then the shop of Pat McGrath Labs, they, they decided to calculate how much money they own. And then they gave me back the money for this. Not for the whole set that become incomplete. And you might think that I'm making drama for nothing. But imagine you are buying a collection. You are diving deep and spending a lot of money to buy a whole collection complete collection. Imagine if you are a collector and someone is sending you an incomplete collection, then the whole collection does not make any sense. Or is it, is it me exaggerating? <laughs> it is as you would have split Mona Lisa in three parts and take away the half, uh, the middle part and just left the two from the left and the right side. And for the future people's enjoyment, <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, it does not work like that. So finally, when they, had, they have decided to calculate how much money they own from the set that has arrived incomplete because of their fault and because of their mistakes, I was on fire. <laughs> and I was just like, if I would knew 
on the day of the premiere that um, I am not going to get a whole collection set. I would never be... I would never be interested in buying it. I would never be interested in buying it. So I felt a little bit cheated because for me, if you have items on stock, if you're proposing things to sell and it is possible actually to buy it, for me, we have a binding contract. You are obliged to deliver me things that I've bought. Otherwise, you don't have to deceive me and promise me to, to bring me the products that you don't have, you know? Um, I spent almost 200 euros for the set, for the collection set that was incomplete, and I didn't feel great about that. So that was my own personal opinion. And then, as I've said, it has arrived incomplete. It has arrived in the form of the mothership. It has arrived in the form of the two little palettes, but then the one palette was missing. So the whole, my collection was incomplete and I was very upset about that. So what happened after months, after the premiere, the Sephora France actually had these products. So as soon as they have arrived, I snatched it. So now my uh, whole collection of Star Wars palettes is complete but not thanks to Pat McGrath. They, basically how it has been treated, the whole problem, it was a mediocre, <laughs> a mediocre type of a treatment from a support uh, center. They don't, they didn't even like, you know, uh, offered me to, uh, to uh, send any kind of a product as an apology or a replacement product. Um, or any kind of like even a discount, discount code as an apology. It was something like, we don't have it. And what you're going to do? <laughs> I mean, that is why. And I hope you'll understand now better. That is why I do not gravitate towards Pat McGrath Labs. I just don't. It is for me, it is absolutely uh, impossible, guys. It is absolutely impossible the way how they treated me as their client when I spent almost 200 euros. It was... <laughs> First, they sold, me, uh, they sold me a set. Then it appeared that they could not sold me the set because it was already an incomplete collection set, which means I felt deceived because other, if I knew that beforehand, I would not buy any of this. <laughs> And and this is just like it was just spiraling the down 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 it was just going much more interesting and then because that's not the end of the story guys that is not the end of the story one and a half month of waiting for these products they have arrived and the whole sticker gate exploded <laughs> of this <laughs> and I would I could not believe it. Guys, because if you would watch the presentation of the whole collection on, of, on Pat McGrath's Instagram page, you would be mesmerized how gorgeous it looks like, how beautiful it looks like. So I always wanted to jump into the, um, the Mothership palettes and that was a perfect occasion because, well... I'm not going to lie, I am a sucker when it comes to limited editions. There's something about it. As soon as my brain kind of like understands it's a limited edition that it's never going to come back, my brain is just like, click, you have to get it. You have to get it. <laughs> so obviously the presentation on Instagram page, it has been a mesmerizing and it would never occur to me what is actually going to happen. And... Yeah, guys, <laughs> let me just lie. <laughs> let me just show you, guys. Let me just show you. So then the Mothership palette has arrived. And it really has a sticker. <laughs> like slapped onto the And I was just like, Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath, what is happening? What is happening? Not only... I was forced to spend 200 euros for the set that has arrived incomplete and I was deceived because 
You know, you didn't have that one palette that I wanted and still you continue selling sets. <laughs> you, the set has arrived one and a half month uh, after, uh, after I've bought it. So it was out of the warranty kind of return policy. I could not return it <laughs> because it has a right to let. And then it was this, this sticker. Can you see how uneven it is? I, I, I could, I could not believe it. My very own eyes. And the funniest thing is actually that probably this sticker should be the other way around. <laughs> um, it's hilarious, but it's not really <laughs> because the hinge is in here. This is the hinge, but the sticker is like this. So normally I think it should be open from this side, but there's a hinge, so it has to be open from this side. <sighs> I don't know. I think, well, what I'm trying to say, I think that when you open anything, when you are opening anything, you're opening like that. You're opening like, like that, right? You're opening like that. And then you have the eyeshadow here. Then you have the eyeshadow here and the mirror in here. You're opening it like that. But with this, you can't because it's upside down. <laughs> so you have to turn it upside down to open it correctly when it comes to the sticker. But then, I don't know if you can see it. The eyeshadows are here and the mirrors are here. It's the other way around. <laughs> I mean, after this, after all this, what I have experienced, I was just basically ready for anything. I was just like, okay, Pat McGrath, throw at me whatever you want. Nothing is going to surprise me. Oh, guys, oh, guys. And as you would have probably thought that it cannot get any better, it actually did. It actually did got better, okay? The sticker gate has revealed um, has appeared and everyone was just like, ah. <laughs> but that was not the end of the, of the drama because <laughs> on the same time when this has been featured, the same palette without this carton box extravaganza eleganza, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ooh, la, la. good. So, this palette, without this kind of fancy boxing and the sticker, has been uh, in a shop, minus, on a sale, minus 40%. <laughs> minus 40%, guys. Minus 40%? <laughs> I just like, I just, I'm just lost for words, guys. So, uh, basically what has happened, I paid just about 50 euros more for this sticker and this box. <laughs> because that same palette has been in the shop without these kind of super duper extra features, extravaganza on a discount minus 40%. So, well, I, I don't know how you would react, but for me, it was just like, that's it, guys. That's it. Thank you very much, Pat McGrath, for your super duper shopping experience. I'm done. I'm going. I'm leaving. Bye bye. <laughs> so yeah, that was my experience, guys. Right now, as you can see, a little bit like we started this epi episode with a little bit of a spice. But okay, enough is enough. I'm going to calm down right now. And right now, it's time to actually jump to this pleasant part of the episode, which is going to be the eyeshadow fun. Let's test the formulas. Let's apply the eyeshadows to my eyelids and see how are they going to perform? And most importantly, let's check this mothership palette and see if it if there's any reason for this palette to be so famous. All right, guys. So after all this huge introduction and my experience from Pat McGrath, um, maybe you'll understand why my approach is that and none other. 
<laughs> but it is finally time to play a little bit with the makeup, test the formulation and see what is going on with such a hype when it comes to um, eyeshadows from Pat McGrath. So yeah, let's just do it. By the way, um, you know, this is not going to be some sort of a super duper tutorial. This is only a makeup fan, so please don't come for me when you're gonna see some kind of a unprecise um, eyeshadow applications. This is rather more a test, uh, rather more than the, um, uh, than the tutorial itself. So yes, guys, first we're going to start with a small palette and in every small palette there were five eyeshadows. So let's talk about this small palette. <laughs> so it is Pat McGrath Labs Sith Seduction Eyeshadow Palette. This is how the product looks like and I must say they definitely wanted to make some sort of a unique packaging when it comes to collaboration with the Star Wars and I always think that there must there must be some sort of an incredible artist who designs the covers and everything it is definitely incredible but then again when it arrived as you can see it arrived already broken because we're in the box it was flying all over the place the idea behind all of this was good to extend this and you know to give that kind of a super super duper uh, Darth Vader look but then again it has arrived already like that as you can see pretty damaged and it's gonna stay like that forever <laughs> when it comes to palette this is the palette, guys. So, if you would look at it from a filtered presentation, very common in Pat McGrath Labs, you might be mesmerized. But then, when you look at it from the close-up, guys, this is a sticker. <laughs> this is a sticker. And the whole thing, this, this is like a duct tape <laughs> that is just sticked all over this kind of like a component. <laughs> yeah, everything is just like wrapped up. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Pat McGrath quality. Um, shocking, shocking. <laughs> all right, and when it comes to the eyeshadows, here you have the eyeshadows and here you have the swatches. How do they present themselves? I, I can't twist my arm. I need to twist myself to, to, to show you. Uh, the the swatches. Oh my gosh, this is the gymnastic. Okay, so the first eyeshadow from it from a top here. It's uh, Imperial. Then it is Dark Destiny. Then it is Mustafa Heat. This orange, and then it is Galactic Conquest, and then it is False Sensitive. I guess the worst sh eyeshadow to swatch was this, this one, the Galactic, uh, the Galactic Conquest. But you know the swatches are nothing in comparison how it looks on my eyelids. So let's just go with the flow and see what will happen. I'm going to take one brush, like this one, and I will start with this eyeshadow here on the bottom that is called force sensitive and we'll see how it's picking up and how it looks on my eyelid okay mm -hmm. it is transforming very nice Lovely. Okay, that that's the, the eyeshadow. By the way, the eyeshadows, they're very gentle. A little bit of a touch of a brush. And as you can see, they're very sensitive. They're very soft. So have that in mind. If you would like ever to explore the eyeshadows from Pat McGrath, that they're definitely soft. Good. The next eyeshadow that I would like to use would be this one. 
and this one is called um, Imperial. So let's try Imperial from in the middle part and the outer part. Wonderful. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got this, we got this. And then the next eyeshadow that I would like to try would be this one over here, which is called Dark Destiny. And then I'm going to put the Dark Destiny completely in the outside corner of my eye. Okay, it is it is happening. Something is happening in here, definitely. Love that. We're not going to use the orange. This one, because I don't think that it's necessary. But then I will use one more shadow this darkest one in here and it's called the galactic conquest and i'm going to use a teeny tiny brush like this one and use it as some sort of a liner let's see how it is going to look like all right all right, guys, I like it. And that would be all for now. Allow me to approach. Cool. And now I'm going to finish the second eye, do some final touches and fixes, and I'll be back and I'll show you the final look. All right, guys, and so here we are back with the finished look. As you can see, another shade has been added, and that shade that has been added is here, the one in the middle, and it's called Mustafa Heat, and now I like it more. It's kind of put back together. Once again, do not judge me that it's not precise and how it is uh, cut and not cut and whatnot. This is the test. I wasn't really trying <laughs> uh, a lot. I just wanted to try out the shades. So guys, when it comes to this palette, this is how it looks like on my eyes. Definitely a very interesting dark color story. And this is what you can get from these eyeshadows. And yeah, guys, yeah. I mean, it looks nice. It looks definitely cute. Good. So allow me now to wipe everything from my eyes and we're going to jump to another palette. <laughs> All right, guys, so now this, the, the first look is gone and it's time to play with a second look with this unique and incredible palette. And it's this one, okay? What, how is it called? Pat McGrath Labs, the golden one eye shadow palette. This is how the product looks like. And yes, I suppose big bravo to the designer and artist who designed such kind of a carton box. It's definitely very unique approach when it comes to the packaging. Once again, as you can see, it has bended as well because this, this bit, because in the carton, it was just flying all over the place. No, but uh, anyway, it looks really cute. It looks definitely, this packaging, very nice. When it comes to the real eyeshadow, I, once again, there is a sticker in here. There is a sticker in here and the whole component is wrapped up with a duct tape. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then when it comes to the eyeshadow, guys, this is the eyeshadow story and these are the swatches. I, it is difficult. It is difficult from top to bottom. We're having the binary sunset, we're having the tattooing, we're having the gold um, etiquette, we're having the coral blitz, and the one that is less visible but it's still very pretty and sparkly right over here, it's called Cyborg Relations. Good, so let's play with these eyeshadows and see what will happen, okay? Um, this These eyeshadows, they're interesting because 
they're having two mats and they're having some satin, satin uh, and then they have some shimmers as well. So there is a very nice variety of colors. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this mat or right over here, which is called the Tatooine. So I'm taking Tatooine and I'm applying Tatooine as a matte eyeshadow on my eyelid, just like so. As you can see, it is incredible. I mean, the pigmentation of the eyeshadow uh, from Pat McGrath, it is incredible. It is instant. It is happening right over, right in front of your eyes. Wow. Absolutely wow. Just one dip of the brush and one swipe like so. And, and we have it and we have it. This is how it looks like. Good. The next eyeshadow that I would like to try would be, would be this one here on the bottom, which is the Cyborg Relations. And let's just give it a shot and try how it is going to apply with a finger. And I'm going to put this on my eyelid just like so. Okay, it definitely has, has transformed that, that my matte eyeshadows into something completely different, beautiful and sparkly. Wonderful, good. Awesome, love that, love that, love that. Now I am going to, hmm, allow me to, to, to wipe my brush and now I'm going to take this one on the top, which is called the Binary Sunset. Pick up this eyeshadow and I am going to put the Binary uh, uh, Sunset eyeshadow in the outside corner of my eyes. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere with these eyeshadows. And now I am going to take a fluffy brush just like so, and I'm going to use the brown eyeshadow that is right over here, a matte, which is a coral blitz, and then I'm going to put it right over here and give myself a little bit of a shape. The pigmentation is insane of these eyeshadows. If you really have a light, uh, if you have a heavy hand, consider yourself warned because it is insane how pigmented these eyeshadows are. Cool. Awesome. I think we have it. And I am going to take. Um, a brush wait a second like this one and i'm going to use again this brown um coral coral blitz and use it as some sort of a liner good and well that that means that the middle eyeshadow has just left, which is called the gold etiquette. I want to use it, um, but I could go out with this, like this is uh, already looking good, but hey, okay, I'm gonna mess up maybe just a little bit and take this gold eyeshadow and see how it is going to look like in the middle. Okay, wow, okay. Nice. Okay, it was a good idea. After all, it transformed a little bit of these eyeshadows into something different. Good. I think we have it. Very nice work with these eyeshadows, guys. By the way, there was a little bit of an accident. They're really very soft. I repeat, I'm repeating myself, but as you can see, 
you really have to be very gentle otherwise you may damage the the whole palette so yes guys when it comes to this palette this is how it looks like allow me now to finish uh, the other eye and i'll be back and we'll continue with this episode all right guys and so here we are back with a finished look with this eyeshadow palette the golden one so allow me to approach so that you can see it this look definitely i like more in comparison with the previous one the previous one was a little bit too dark this one i believe it is much more interesting and all these eyeshadows that are in here they mix all together with each other very nicely no surprises very good pigmentation as i as you can see very soft please be careful <laughs> do not hurt your eyeshadows and a very good color story and the combination of mattes um satin and shimmers and guys this is how it looks like i really i really like it you know i really like it and of course you don't have to combine them all you can just put a little bit of a sparkle like here and it's going to look already good but the whole combination is definitely very well thought and it can give you that kind of a look so for me a very interesting eyeshadows and they're very pigmented it's very nice to work with them i am absolutely impressed love that good guys so allow me to wipe now uh, this and we're gonna jump to the third mini eyeshadow and create some sort of a interesting and original look all right guys so it's time to continue uh, the play with this unique um collection from pat mcgrath and star wars and the third palette that i would like to feature and talk about is this one just look how cute this is so it is called pat mcgrath labs divine droid eye shadow palette this is how the product looks like and once again we have a combination of five eyeshadows but this color story is definitely incredible and unique and vivid and this palette was the one that initially i was most interested in because um in my opinion uh, pat mcgrath she doesn't have such kind of a super um brave and colorful uh eyeshadows usually they're a little bit dark as you could see already two um eyeshadow palettes has been featured and all of them are dark <laughs> so this one it is definitely a very unique and the carton box once again very interesting the design absolutely incredible and of course it's banded it's banded because it was flying all over the box when it has been delivered so yeah just saying and the eyeshadow palette sticker on the one side sticker on the other side and and everything is just wrapped up with a duct tape <laughs> look at this thing look look at the details from the close-up <laughs> Okay, but you know, you might think at this point I am maybe a little bit picky. Anyway, good. On to the eyeshadows. This is the eyeshadow story. Very interesting mixture of a sparkly and satin eyeshadows. And these are, guys, the swatches. So if you would ask me what kind of uh, eyeshadows do we have from, from top to bottom, we have astro line then we have bronze circuit then this incredible in the middle turquoise it's called secret blueprint and then we have optic fuchsia and then we have al ultraviolet messenger that it is very difficult to feature here on the swatches it is over here good so what I am going to do, actually, I am very curious about this middle shade and I'm going to use my finger to apply this on my, all over my eyelid. So, oh my gosh, okay, I'm excited. Let's go and see what will happen. All right, okay, wow, very unique beautiful and very unique eyeshadow i love it 
I already, I already love it. Oh wow. And since my eyes are blue, these type of an eyeshadows, I love it. Very good eyeshadow. It transfer very nicely with a finger and it transfer very nicely on my eyelid. Good. The next eyeshadow that I would like to try would be this one. It's called the Ultraviolet Messenger and I will try to put this on my finger as well. Just like so and try to apply it in my inner corner of my eye. Oh, wow. Very interesting combination. Wow. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is that type of a color story and eyeshadows that I would like to see more often with, with a brand like Pat McGrath because this is a completely different story. Look at this. Looks so pretty. Awesome. And look at that kind of a like transition from one shade to the other. Love that. Absolutely love that. And now when I look at this, basically I like the way how it looks like now. I could just put a little bit of an eyeliner, my mascara, and that would be good to go. But since I want to use as many eyeshadow as possible, I will have to ruin this look just a little bit or maybe a little bit, a lot. And what I'm going to do, I am going to take this eyeshadow here, second from the top, which is called Bronze Circuit, and I will try to put this in the outer corner of my eye. Although I don't want to, because this already looks very pretty. <laughs> Yep. Okay. Cool. Something is happening. They're definitely very, very pigmented. Good. Okay. Enough is enough. <laughs> and now I am going to take a fluffy brush like this one. And I'm going to use this kind of like Astro Line Violet shade and put, put it on the top of my eyelid. Okay, this is smudgy. Okay, this one is smudgy. This one is patchy. A surprise, a little bit of a surprise, but hey, we're going to blend it and we're going to make this work. Maybe the brush is wrong. Maybe the brush is wrong. Maybe I'm gonna take a different brush. Yeah, I can make it work, but um, I don't know. Is it is it my brush or is it the, the eyeshadow itself that is a little bit wah, wah in this palette? As you can see, it, co it comes out a little bit patchy. And again, they're, they're really dark now. They're really dark and it they doesn't really fit into these super light ones. I could just use the other two and just like call it a day because this effect is not necessarily the one that I was looking for. But then again, I was quite expecting that I am going to ruin this look just a little bit. Good, but not good. <laughs> good, but not good. Oh, once again, I am going to go back to this blue and Put this right over here in the middle to redefine what I wanted to have from the beginning. And then I'm going to take the inner part and fix it. Good. So that we at least have this. 
Yes, and then I'm going to take a brush like this one, and I'm going to use the fifth eyeshadow, which is called the Optic Fuchsia right over here, and I'm going to use it a little bit as a eyeliner. Good. Okay. Guys, so this is how it looks like for now. It might not look very interesting. I'm going to fix this off the camera and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys. And so there you have it, a finished look using the third palette called Divine Droid. And this is the final look. The violet in here has ruined a little bit of, of my look, but... um. Definitely a very unique eyeshadows would be this one in the middle called a Secret Blueprint and Ultraviolet Messenger. Combined together, they give you a very extraordinary look. The violet became a little bit patchy and difficult to work with. But nonetheless, this is, guys, the final look. This is how it looks like. I wonder, what do you think? A very unique um, eyeshadow palettes and these eyeshadows as well they're very soft they're definitely very soft easy to work with very pigmented but I've noticed that they're much more e easier to work with while using fingers instead of using the the brush so yes guys this is the final look while using the five unique eyeshadows from the divine droid palette and this is the final effect so yes, allow me now to wipe everything off and let's go to the main um, attraction of this episode, which is going to be the Mothership. Mothership number six. Let's try the formulation and the eyeshadows of the Mothership and see why these eyeshadows, they're so popular. <laughs> All right, guys. So... The little palette has been tested and three unique looks has been presented while using this little um, eyeshadow palette. But I suppose the main event and the main goal of this episode would be testing this baby. <laughs> testing this baby, okay, which is Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 6 Midnight Sun Eyeshadow palette. This is how the product looks like and I suppose when it comes to Pat McGrath and her fame and her love of many many users and makeup artists it's all about the mothership palettes. It's all about the unique and extraordinary formula used in the mothership eyeshadow palettes. These eyeshadows are supposed to be incredible, perform very well, have amazing color stories and I am actually very excited to put this on my eyelids and test it out for you in this limited edition Eleganza Extravaganza Sticker Gate, whatever you name it, it's here. So, um, as you can see, every eyeshadow mothership is, has that type of a string. So you go all around, right over here and then, ta-da, you open. I hope it's not going to fly over. And then you open and then you have it. Like, look at this. The whole packaging in its full glory. Absolutely amazing. Despite the fact that there's a sticker in here, it still presents itself very nicely. Very nicely. And then you take out the palette from the box. You have name of the shadows right over here. You take the palette. And this is what I would like to see with Pat McGrath quality every single time she launches the product. This. Look at this. A gold situation right over here. It is sturdy. It is made of a beautiful glossy plastic. There is a mixture and addition of gold. This, this is what I would like to see instead of some sort of a carton box eleganza extravaganza with some extra stickers and the duct tape around. 
No, no. This is what I would like to see every single time with a new product launch. But hey, that is all my own personal opinion. You don't have to agree. That's totally fine. And then when we open the palette, which we open in the wrong way, because we should be opening from this side, but there's a hinge, and we open from this side. So the sticker is wrongly sticked. <laughs> Let's just say we have the amazing huge mirror right over here, if you can see. And then we have the eyeshadow pa palette with amazing color story. The colors that definitely speaks to me is this one here and this one over here. We are not going to do the swatches because I do not want to mess with the formula and with my finger. So we're just going to apply some of these eyeshadows, not all of them, because I just don't want to mess with the formula, as I've said. Um, for me, normally the best thing would be, as you can see, my eye is already prepped, to put a little bit of a sparkle, to add a little bit of a definition with these two, and I would be good to go. But today, for the sake of this test, we're going to try a little bit more of the colors. So yes, guys, um, allow me to prepare here my working place, and we're going to start applying the eyeshadows. All right, guys, so the palette is in my hand, the mirror, and basically the quality of the Mothership palette is definitely stunning. It is just a pleasure to work with such kind of a product and I would like to see more of such launches in the future instead of the carton box eleganza extravaganza, but you already know my opinion. Good, so we are going to start applying the eyeshadows. I'm going to get a little bit closer so that you can have a better look and I am going to start applying the eyeshadow called Taboo all over my eyelid and it is this matte right over here so yes i'm going to take this type of a of a brush and i'm going to pack this or touch this because i am new to the eyeshadow formulation from pat mcgrath so i don't know what to expect let's go let's give it a whirl let's give it a try Oh wow, okay. It is beautifully pigmented already, guys, and it applies like a dream, this eyeshadow. Okay, very nice, very pretty. I am not going to use many of these eyeshadows because um, I have some sort of a look already in my head and um, not all of these color stories would fit especially this violet or this kind of like copper type of a shade i'm going to use just some of them okay guys i'm going to tell you something and i'll be very honest i hardly ever meet any eyeshadows that require just a little bit of a touch and applies like this and it doesn't need to add more this is more than enough absolutely this is more than enough good what i am going to do now um <laughs> let me think let me think i am going to take this super sparkly eyeshadow in here it is called the astral solstice and i am going to use my finger although i'm very hesitant and apply this eyeshadow using my finger. So here we go, the Astral Solstice. Okay, 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 good. Let's give it a go, let's give it a whirl. Okay, wow, it appears, good. A beautiful sparkle, absolutely. Oh, wow. And guys, there are no extra supporters in here when it comes to the eyeshadow, like glitter primer or whatever, like some sort of a glue or anything. It's just the eyeshadow and my finger. Oh, wow. Very pretty. 
the combinations of these eyeshadows they're definitely limitless but um i like how this this astral solace this sparkly eyeshadow applies on the top of that brown matte shade that i just used good <sighs> pretty Pretty, 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 pretty. I am repeating myself, but I am definitely very impressed. And now I would like to use one of the brown shades. I don't know, this one or maybe this one in the outside corner of my eye. Hmm. I wonder which one should I use? Okay. I'm going to use the middle brown in here, and that middle is called Vermilion Venom. <laughs> what a original name. And I am going to take a fluffy brush, maybe like this one, and I'm going to apply this eyeshadow in the R uh, right over here. Okay, wow, okay, pretty. It's incredible. I mean, <laughs> uh, the blendability and how do they work? They basically apply for you. You don't have to make any sort of a effort to apply them on your eyelids. It is insane. It is incredible. And uh, the pigmentation is here. I'm shook. I'm shook. Such a pleasure. Wonderful. Okay. Because obviously, well, as you can see, um, my channel is not, uh, you know, it's um, when it comes to how long uh, it exists, it exists for a little bit more than one year. So I haven't had a chance to work with the eyeshadow um, from uh, Pat McGrath. But this, okay, this definitely is very impressive for me. It's a very nice product to work with. I suppose this is more than enough. We don't really need to add more. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Bronze Eclipse, which is this eyeshadow, and put this Bronze Eclipse in the outside corner of my eye. 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 <laughs> uh, so yes, Bronze Eclipse. And let's see what will happen. Awesome. Good. It gives me that kind of an extra definition right over here. Good. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. And now I am going to take that type of a, of a brush and I'm going to dip it into the extreme dusk which is right over here and I am going to use this as some sort of a eyeliner. Oh wow. Okay, and there might be probably lots of wows and everything. Um, as you can see there is a little bit of a fallout. Everything will have to be cleaned right after. But right now, the first impression, it is very good, very positive, very nice. These eyeshadows, they're so nicely pigmented. Oh my gosh, I can't. I love it. I love it, everything what I have created thus far. So guys, allow me to finish the second eye and then I'll be back with a finished look. All right, you guys. So there you have it, a finished look using this Pat McGrath Mothership number no. six palette, Midnight Sun. Allow me to approach so that you can see it for yourself. A very unique look using these eyeshadows. I can definitely confirm their unique and extraordinary quality. And I love it. The effect on my eyes, absolutely love it. Of course, I am not wearing a full makeup because my skin is having a little bit of a rest. But normally, if I would go full glam and a full glory with a full makeup, that would look even more amazing. But the effect 
that I've got from this eyeshadow palette is amazing. I'm definitely excited and interested to explore more of the Mothership palettes. Who knows what kind of a Mothership palette is going to appear this year. We shall see, we shall find out, and maybe one day another Mothership will be featured on this channel in some sort of a test. Guys, to summarize everything, okay? To summarize everything, we have tested out the three unique eyeshadow palettes, a mini eyeshadow palettes with five eyeshadows in each one of them, which means that 15 unique eyeshadows has been tested in here. And what I can say is that they're definitely very unique. They're very soft. So if you have a heavy hand, please be very careful. Do not hurt your eyeshadows like I did, because I'm definitely a heavy-handed. Nonetheless, they're beautifully pigmented. They spread like a dream. They do its job very nicely, and they allow you to uh, achieve a very unique look. So, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to these eyeshadows. Well, to be honest, most of them, they're, these palettes, they're sold out, but... For me, in France, some of them, they're still available. So for me, it is a green light in combination. Three of them, 15 eyeshadows. I can definitely make some magic. And my favorite eyeshadows would be these two ones, the blue one and the green. They're absolutely incredible. And then when it comes to this unique Mothership palette with these unique shades, and finishes, guys, Paris Star Channel gives a green light to this Mothership palette. I had a little bit of a difficulty digging into this gold one, digging into this violet one, and digging into this copper one, but um, the other ones that has been featured, they're nice, they're battery smooth, they're blend like like a dream and this is the final result that you can get from the mothership number six so paris star channel gives a green light to the mothership number six so in general if i would have to summarize what do i think about the eyeshadows from pat mcgrath while having a chance to work with them and feature them on my channel i can say that they're very interesting, very uh, pigmented. They spread lovely and they blend beautifully. So Paris Star Channel gives a green light to the eyeshadows from Pat McGrath. Definitely something that is worth trying and exploring. Good, guys. So that would be all for today's episode. Let me tell you what is going to happen in my next episode. Believe it or not, but this is a parcel from Pat McGrath with the bronzers that has arrived just recently, more or less almost after one month of waiting. The beauty of shopping in Pat McGrath. This is what is happening. So yes, the bronzers are going to be a closing episode when it comes to Pat McGrath episode trilogy. Look out for that. I am very curious about the bronzers powder formula and I can't wait to feature them in my episode. In the meantime, guys, this episode has come to an end. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so very much for tuning in and celebrating with me diversity that makes us all different, gorgeous, unique and beautiful. It's time to say goodbye from Paris with love. Mwah. See you soon. Bye bye now.